Hey guys, Sarah Dan here, and here we go again. In this video, we'll be continuing our adventure following the capture of Baal. If you have not done the steps to be able to get this battle pet, then please find a link in the top of the description. It is also worth noting that you must have also have completed Una's questline too, including World Tour. Oh yes, this is a long one. But, assuming that you have done all of this, let's get started straight away. I will re-emphasize. This is a long one, so go grab a coffee. Let's get our waste of time. Waste. Hmm. Following off of Bao's initial comment as he was summoned, the phrase seek knowledge was discovered. This was using the capital letters, of course. And this led us over to the spars of Rack to find our first clue. Over here in this basket is a hidden orb. Yeah, again, straight into it. And clicking it, we will read passive icy veins. Now I won't go too much into detail about all of these clues we get, because this video will end up being over half an hour long. But clue 2 can be found in Stormwind, well, just up on the cliff over here, next to the Everbloom portal. You will find a strange seed. Clicking this, you will get Sadness Keynoted. It might be an idea at this point to turn down your ground clutter in system settings. Some of them are very well hidden. Clue 3. Toiny Frog. This can be found here in Spires of Iraq. Under the water, on a little rock, there is a little fella just there. Can you see him? And some horrible person has carved into the frog. And it reads, Dog, Wig, Moss. I know at this point you're probably wondering how each clue leads into the next. Well, to sum it up briefly, all of these phrases are anagrams. And we deciphered this one to be Golk's Wisdom. This led us to clue number four, the brittle bone, found over in Blades Edge Mountain at the foot of this crystal over here. And this clue reads, Rage, Shank, Sever. Again, this one was deciphered as Shaka's Revenge. Clue five, it's a misplaced candle, found again in Spires of Iraq. It's this tiny little purple candle in front of the bigger one. And this clue reads, Rankest Goldfish. With all these anagrams, we were communicating with everybody through Discord, through all different languages, because all anagrams, they, well, they had to all link up together, didn't they? So as soon as we found a clue, we would read off all the words that we were able to make in English and see if they could also be made up in, say, German, French, Spanish, Russian, Chinese, the whole lot. It really did take a lot of hard work. Clue 6. Odd Cup in Shadow Moon Valley in Draenor. This cup is just to the side of the fireplace here, and clicking it, it will read Ease of Fruit. Clue 7. Over to Shadow Moon Valley, this time in Outland. At the very top of the Hand of Gul'dan Mountain lies a rock. Not a pebble. Oh god, don't say pebbles. And on this rock reads The Big Bull. And this was deciphered as Blue Blight, as in Outcast or Drain Drainii. Which led us to clue number 8, over in the Swamp of Sorrows. Over here under this tree, in the water you will find a blooming lily, which reads, Jaws, Open, Nukes. Clue 9, Pretty Flower, found in a crypt in Eastern Plaguelands. Just through here, and when you get in, there is a coffin, just sitting over there in the corner. And on said coffin is a clue. Well, a pretty flower. And it reads, Dead Rune Fug. Clue 10. Old Book, located in Karazan, in the chapel right behind it. This one is more obvious to locate than the rest. And the book reads, A Stage Deception. A very short book indeed. Clue 11. Dead Fish. Oh, poor dead fish. This one's found in Black Rock Mountain, in a side room off of the Lower Spire Portal. Just in this room, over here, there is a campfire, and next to said campfire is the sad dead fish. Rather than eaten, someone decided to carve into it, saying, Necropolis 
Expo. Clue 12. Scratched board found in Duskwood over here underneath this larger plank. Uh, well, actually, j just past this person's mount. And click in it, it will read. The net saves. I wonder what sort of weird ritual we're preparing for here. Clue 13. Lost ring. This one is found in Hillsbrad Foothills, in the ruins of Alterac. Just inside this building here, there is a skeleton on your left. And next to said skeleton is a tiny little ring. And this reads, Terrible Grunt. I bet you're wondering how all of these were found. Don't worry, I'll explain a little later on. Clue 14. Spoiled Apple. Found in the Badlands. Right on the coastal side, in fused light by the sea. Inside this bigger building on the table corner, there will be a lonely apple. Click it and it will read, leave nets often. We found out of a fate stone from this anagram. Clue 15, broken tooth, found in blasted lands on the altar of storms. This one is found next to the base of the skull, just over here. Click it and it will read, bash remains. And the key word we found in English was brains. Other languages have variants like head, for example. It still led to the same location. Clue 16. Worn helm. Found in burning steps. On top of this skeleton's head. I mean, where else would you find a helm? And click in it, it will read, Sense the figs. Whew, blimey. Don't worry, we are over halfway now. Clue 17. Leafy Leaf. This one is found in Old Dalaran in Northrend. Over here, near the north bank, on the green, to the side you will find a leaf. Well, I've, I found a complete mess when I first went there, because someone decided to put statues and sit on top of all of this leaf, obstructing all of us to click it. Good time, I know. But there is a leaf under there, and by clicking it, you will get phantasmal hosts. Leafy Leaf. You know, when this when we first saw this one, we thought someone was trolling us. But no, it's a leafy leaf. Clue 18. A musty cloth. This one is found in Terragar Forest, in Outland, in the Shadow Labyrinth, and also in a crate over here, under the tent. Well, statue again. Though at this point, during the Discord, we had about 400 people in the voice chat alone, and everybody was getting frustrated. People were getting angry, particularly with these statues. But the fact that we were finding these so fast and people just couldn't keep up, the guides, they, they couldn't be updated in time, so people were just left wondering what to do. Otherwise, this clue reads, scarce odds still. But clue 19, a broken tablet in Twilight Highlands. This one is outside the entrance to Grim Batol. In front of this fence down here, you will find half a tablet. A, a stone tablet, not one of these iPods, you know, kids these days. <laughs> Reading this, you will find starfish droplets. Clue 20. Ashed torch found in Feralas in amongst a few ogres. This one sticks up right out of the ground, but it's unlit. Click in this, you will read, A Daft Tormentor's Fog. Now, the race was certainly on at this point to try and find this one. You see, I almost got it first, but you know, I, I didn't have my coffee and I completely flew past it. Oh well, someone found it, of course. And that was the last thing we have to find. But no, of course, it's not the end. However, I will give you a quick explanation about how we find these whilst you make your way over to point 8573 in Arafi Highlands. But make sure you have four items with you in your bag, which are mentioned in the description of this video. As you can imagine, it would have taken days to find all these clues manually. However, we used the same trick that we'd done whilst finding the pebbles. We checked our caches. So, as soon as we found one clue, the next clue would appear in game, and it would also have plus one on the ID to the previous one we found, which made it a lot easier. But how on earth did we know whereabouts-ish we should fly to be able to get these updated on our caches? Well, in fact, the clues were found following the Chronicles book, so each clue was almost the next stage in the book 
which is really quite cool. A little bit of lore into a secret. Plus, on Discord, it was almost like story time. <laughs> that was pretty cool. There is also some data mined information found too. The main one being that this whole bow secret contained 43 steps. After the torch, we did not really know where to go because we deciphered from that turtle bringer. A turtle made it to the water. Not too sure how this was led to the next step, but majority of the hunt was through brute force. And I suppose somebody thought it would be an idea to go check this NPC, because this NPC was found earlier on in the expansion. And on their nose around this NPC's house, one of the 43 steps turned true. So they screamed out in Discord to say they had completed step 38. And this is where we go. Clue 21. Grimmy. Located over here in Arafi Highlands, right on the very coast, talking to him, you will get, well, nothing, pretty much. But on the table closest to the door, there will be a list of his friends. Reading this, you are presented with a clue. <laughs> Not an anagram this time. We've gone past that now. Though, we did almost cheat this step, because we had data mined previously what to do next. Otherwise, we would have had to have gone to all of these friends and look at what they're wearing. But for your interest, the NPCs are... F.D. Falfia Dawnbreak T.M. Philera Moonreef S.N. Shonuff Knucklebump O.M. Onomi And the items that are of interest to us are... A Windwall Hood Death silk shoulders, a never weaved tunic, and frost woven leggings. I also mentioned earlier on that these are also listed in the description. Though, once you have all of these equipped, speak to Grimmy and he'll be a little bit more interactive. In fact, you'll almost be his friend and you would want to know his secrets. Of course, that's the first thing you want to know as soon as you meet someone, but hey. Though, unfortunately, he's not going to tell you. Sad times, I know. But talking to him whilst wearing all of these, you will get your next clue. This clue is found on the table next to his bed, underneath a bomb? Well, huh, of course there would be a bomb next to your bed. What else would you have next to your bed? But reading this, you'll learn about Grimmy's enemies. S sort of, anyways. No names, of course, it was never going to be that easy. But we did get stuck on this one for a little while. Basically... What we have discovered is that we must emote four NPCs in the game. But, which NPCs? So at this point, we collectively brought all of our ideas together and worked really hard to think which NPCs he is on about here. And, miraculously, pretty much got it first time round. So we emoted all of these NPCs, but unfortunately nothing happened first time. We got stuck until someone in Discord posted that he had locked the next step. And they emoted the NPCs, but they had an extra four items in their bags, which were again data mined earlier on. And these items are... Approximo's Radius. This can be bought in Hulla, and you would have to have your fraction in control. The next item is a rough wooden staff. This one can be bought off any inscription trainer. The next is a punctured pout. This one can be bought over here in Grizzly Hills. However, unfortunately, Horde will have to buy this off of the auction house because the vendor is an alliance. It's a bit of a stupid step, this one. And the last item which you need is a formula enchant ring striking. This one is obtained in the upper library of Karazan. Quite a while up, but Head to the stage as you go in, jump over and take the door on your left. Talk to the stagehand, kill the fight, and then follow your way all the way up to this map. And he is over here. Now we have our items, we can now emote our NPCs. First, we need to slap Aquina Stras in Twilight Highlands. Next, we would need to wave at Carnum Marshweaver in Desolus. After, we need to cheer at Nogra found in Zoldrak. And lastly, 
we need to dance with stained mug in Kunlai Summit. Doing all of these you will get an invisible spell cast on you and well you won't be able to see the buff but it is there I can reassure you. You can also check this by using this macro. Again this is also listed in the description. You just need to make sure that you got true for all four sections. But again when copying over the macro make sure that it is exactly as it appears in the description. YouTube again likes to change stuff to make it awkward. Once this is all done return to Grimmy and you'll be able to interact with him a little bit differently. You'll be able to tell him that you had words with his enemies. But again, he's still quite reluctant to spill any beans. <laughs> what now? Well, the next step is found in his fireplace. It's his favourite recipe. <laughs> Read over it and we will have to start thinking of ingredients. And that we did for about three hours because outside there are now ten foods which we can click on. And clicking any of these will make you smell. And you can get stacks of 255 of the buff as well. What do we do? After a lot of different combinations from more than 100 people, we could not figure it out. We thought we perhaps missed a step, so we went back to his friends. Though whilst we did find all of his friends, nothing around them gave any indication as to what we needed to smell like. Until... Again, brute force kicked in, and someone started clicking all the vegetables. One druid even managed to get 255 stacks of all the vegetables. That took a bit of time. But unfortunately, that was not it. It was an actual fact, someone who started clicking on the potato. Not sure what they were trying to do, but as soon as they hit 144 stacks, they received a new buff called Marker. And that was it. You need to click the potato 144 times. It's over here. And now go speak to Grimmy, because you smell like potato, and you'll be able to ask him, how do I smell? Apparently, just like his mother used to when she made his favourite pie. <laughs> Weirdly, that is enough for him to show you his secrets, and lo and behold, it's behind his house. What sort of pie uses 144 potatoes? There is a glowing lockbox, and in said lockbox, is a waste of time. No, about. Not this has this, jo this journey hasn't been a waste of time. You've literally got a waste of time. All that work. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. But these secrets do not always lead to fancy mounts. This does look pretty cool, though. On the other hand, though, again, I don't think this is the end. This will probably lead to something so much more bigger later on. We'll have to see. So again, guys, keep posted. And thank you all for watching, it's been a long journey, but be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Also, keep an eye out for new secrets. The guys on the secret discord are working really hard. But for now, take care. Okay, okay um, languages, are we ready with your language? Yeah. Nope. Yes, Germany is ready. French ready! All right, ha, Scottish ready. Can you create peon? Or peons? Nope. We can do shaman in German. Next is called uh, uh, Siege of the Cap oh, Capital Siege. Um, do shaman. You can do shaman in, in, in German. Can you do shaman in yeah. other languages? You can do splash. Mm, not in French. Not in French. Shaman okay. plot twist can you do, for shaman path. Can you, do, can you do path? I mean, I can fit yeah, child in Russian. It's not, it's not confirmed, guys. Chill out. We're, waiting, we're still waiting for the languaging people to get there. It's not classic toddlers yet. Yes, it is. I, 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 I <laughs> doubt it's in, in Russian. They're, they're about, they're about like, they're about like a hundred thousand results. I doubt it's toddlers. You can't crush my dreams. Oh, yeah. Guys, no, listen, uh, don't just uh, a photo from it. He should uh, wear it on his character and show a picture of that because he got it. Oh my god. I posted a 
picture. I didn't of get it. Thing. Oh no, did we just get 144 snacks of potatoes yeah. for no reason? Oh, we got a waste of time, that's awesome. Oh my god, guys, come click on. Or move back. Oh my so god, it is that really real. It's just like, uh, see, in another the little closet, closet. In the chest Yes, uh, I have it. In the I'm closet. literally saying I'm wearing it. Oh my god, it's actually- holy sh- that was Can it! Can you try and vlog it? Oh, there's people. Yes, you can see. I bet I- I bet the most of your snacks are 145. Oh, sorry, Tess, you were laughing at the snacks. 144. Guys, 144 and you get a second buff. Yep. It's a marker. Then you go and you go and talk to him and you get a chest out back. That happened, Jesus yeah. Christ. That's it. I can't find the chest. Oh, here's the chest. Holy shit, that's Stick it. Stick a mask. We did it. We did it. The chest oh, and it's fucking the fucking not. mammoth. Where's the chest? Why okay, so is uh, only uh, even uh, Horde uh, just this stupid? Only Horde. Uh, we bought this oh, damn. I'd have. Full inventory, so I no, no, just go into my mail.